<clears throat> okay, well, it has stopped raining long enough for me to show you something else I was going to talk about. And uh, just for reference, just I don't know when this is going to be filmed, but when this is going to be filmed, I don't know when I'm going to put this out. But this is Rob, and I am still up here just under Wolf Creek Pass, which is right up there. Oddly enough, we can't hear a truck. Usually we hear a truck jake breaking as it comes down. Uh, but uh, we're in the San Juan National Forest, about 15 miles north of Pagosa Springs here in southern Colorado. And it is green and pretty and wet. And yeah, wet is the right word for it. But it finally quit raining long enough for me to show you something that I was going to talk about. The cable system that I use to stretch out here between the trees. This is kind of, this is something actually my dad gets more credit for than me. I had kind of had the initial idea a long time ago, but he took it to the next level. Uh, you know, when, you never know where you're going to camp. And so a lot of times it is pretty handy to have a big old tarp set up like this to keep the rain off of you at times like this. Uh, these tents do pretty good. I'm kind of worried about uh, along the edges there where the water's dripping on the tent and <laughs> the girls have stuff piled up against it and uh, Typically when you do that it soaks through the tent fabric and into whatever you've got inside I told them to check it, but I hadn't heard back from them yet. We'll find out Meantime, we're nice and dry up underneath there Shaded from the rain and shaded from the Sun and and uh, Not that the Sun's much of a problem right now and I actually uh, yesterday stuck on that extra little piece of a tarp to keep rain off the kitchen a little better, which it didn't entirely do. It kept it kept it out of the stove here, but uh, didn't keep it so much out of or off of the table and this stuff over here. But that's okay. We just got back from town a little while ago. The Fourth of July parade was down there, and so we went and did that. But here's what we're going to look at here. What this is, what we have here is one big long steel cable braided cable that goes from here across to the other tree now to attach to the tree some trees are bigger around than others we've got a couple of little shorter cables with loops in the end of them that make it easier to get a hold of and it's all bound together pretty good and then the cable itself which is about a 3 8 steel cable has a hook on one end of it like you see on a on a tow chain or something like that and then we run that across from where tree to tree that we're going to use and then to pick up the slack on longer runs kind of like this one we've got these dudes here these poles that are extendable with the pvc of uh, uh, pvc t at the top up there that the cable can go through and be able to slide real well and uh, not damage the tent and then the pole itself I'll show you the one on the other side a little bit closer is an extendable piece of PVC in this case with a piece of uh, steel conduit a three-quarter inch thin wall conduit in the middle of it that gives it a strong enough support so that it holds up the line and doesn't let the tent sag too much <clears throat> so we have to run those two first then we come to the other end where we also now this tree here was big enough around that none of the uh, the loop pieces I had Attachment pieces were big enough to go all the way around the tree So I just had to rig it where I went around a couple of limbs up there make sure the lights not shine Of course the Sun will come out right as I'm doing this But right up there where it goes in. I don't know if we can tell it or not where it attaches to that limb and then Goes over to the other end of our cable here now normally I have a big old come along <clears throat> that I can stretch it up and crank it up tight with but I couldn't find my come along so I just used a ratchet strap in this case and that drew it in tight enough it's not as tight as I would like it to be now to hold on to the cable because I'll show you this cable here where it comes down <clears throat> there's still another easily another 30 or 40 feet of cable here that we could have gone even further out to a tree uh, even beyond where we are we made it up good and long like that because we never know how far or how close the trees will be. Now, to hold it, let me get up here. I got, happen to have a ladder. This is something good to have too 
you can do it without a ladder but you can't get it as tall as you'd like it to be so we'll go up the ladder here with my t-shirt that i laid out to dry when we left because the sun was shining and then as the day progressed the sun went away what we have up here if i can do this without toppling the ladder over to hang on to the cable i don't know what the real term is we always call them bulldogs in electrical terminology what it is the cable gripping system that we use to hold on and you can position it anywhere the kind of deal that if you push this piece right here where the loop is it opens that jaw up and you can slide it further down the cable as you need to and when you pull on it the harder you pull on it the tighter it grips which is kind of why it's called a bulldog and then can be cranked up that way Let's see if i can take up a little slack here i don't have my ladder in the right place so if you see a blur of motion it meant i fell off there we go a couple of cranks doesn't hurt now you can see on top of the of the tarp where the pvc tees are pushing into probably because i've got it pushed up too hard for the way i've got it cranked out as i lose my picture again this camera i have to keep turning the screen back on kind of a battery saver deal i guess not a bad thing but you can see how it drapes off across there like that and then of course on the inside i rig up some lantern hangers so that we can keep the uh the lanterns going if you hadn't heard me mention it already i have a love affair with coleman lanterns and pressurized gas lanterns coleman stoves all that kind of thing that's uh something we'll talk about in a different video though but you can see this hanger right here is actually a hanger a clothes hanger that i just straightened out bent a loop in that end so i can get to it and move it easy take it on and off as i need to and then put a hook right there so i can just hang that right down in there slide that guy back in there of course now i gotta climb back up to get a hold of it so i can get it up under the tarp where it needs to be there we go kind of keep it out of the rain a little bit the beauty about those lanterns is they don't go out very easy anyway when we put one up i usually have somebody else if there is somebody else stretch the take the cable as tight as we can get it and then i hook up whatever our uh, ratcheting device is to crank it up good and tight and we stretch it out after that i take and stretch these guys to whatever height i think they need to be and you can see how we slit the pvc kind of in about four spots right there and then we got a couple of hose clamps on there to crank it down so it doesn't doesn't slip as easily but anyway that's it that's uh that's the system we use and we can stretch these dreidel big 20 by 30 or whatever size tarp you want to over it uh, to keep the edges out you basically just run some lines out and if there's trees around you can tie them to trees if there's not trees we drive stakes in the ground where we need to <laughs> and we mark some of the ones that are harder to see with uh something so i so i don't trip over them uh i didn't get fancy just put some sticks up to hold the hold the corners not the corners but the grommets up there so it'll keep it up out of the way keep it from plopping in the wind as bad and that's about all there is to it and uh this tarp right here is just a plain old poly tarp we've been using it for 10 years that i know of for sure how much beyond that i couldn't really say but there we go that just shows you what i do in case you were wondering or even if you weren't now you know um one of the good things about these tarps too is if you get it up high enough like that one side over there that's tall enough we could easily have a campfire going up under there have many times uh, the flames don't seem to get up. I mean, if you built a roaring fire, it might get up there and do some damage. But otherwise, it does just fine. It lets the smoke out the high end, and and uh, you can enjoy your fire out of the rain. When they let you have a fire, which they haven't lately. But uh, that's it. You look up through the trees up there, you can see through kind of where the cliffs are, where the, uh, where the hairpin turn on Wolf Creek Pass is. But... All right, so that's all I got for now. I will, uh, I will sign off at this point and uh, catch y'all with another video about this later on. All right, cheers, y'all.